And it is the Sanders who kick. And it's the same back three for the third consecutive game after moving those parts over there. It's a it's actually worked out well. I think we all were in the mindset of you lose Jordan Morris, one of your stars attacking pieces, a piece that gives you another element, allows you to stretch back lines. You'd lose by Atlanta United as we confirm the starting lineups. It's still Stefan. Usual suspects after that, you know, Jao Paolo and Kellen Rose sliding in there at center mid. He's found a, a new wave of life again in his career. And the outstretched arm here of Amir Ariaga. He's going to pick up a yellow card. Well, you can see he was just trying to shield the ball away from Cecilio Dominguez. Dominguez is still on the ground. Yellow card shown. It's going to be a free kick in a good position when all is said and done here for Austin FC. Back to Ariaga, who, incidentally, that was his fourth yellow card of the season. Move those wing backs. Try to stretch them out. Try to comp try to create comp. And Rui Diaz, of course, who we need to see get on the ball a little bit more for us. To make him make some decisions early on. Now, Cleveland had five appearances at Chicago Fire a couple of seasons ago, and, and entering into week seven, you can see possession hasn't been the issue. It's possession with. Ball back with Ariaga. deal with it and adjust quicker than others but uh, you know I've seen some really positive moments from this Austin team that are encouraging and I think that Josh Wolf and the organization can take it and be proud of so far and, and continue to build on you did tell me off air that Toronto lost the first few games you came into the side and you won <laughs> so it is <laughs> alter ego perhaps midfield Dominguez he wants to have but if this, if Austin's looking to play in behind Chirito Hernandez, some had written him off. First look at Cecilio Dominguez as that number nine. Ariaga. Head of Raul Rui Diaz. Clicking just yet. Fagundes only has eight touches of the ball so far. Gallagher, 10 touches. Jared Stroud, 12. So they need to find a way to get their most dangerous players in, on the ball in more attacking positions. I just want to say, Mo, you as a commentator have got the juice, my friend. To not allow that to be a big thing. having conversations with players they're trying to congested midfield and it's, there's some real stiff competition that he's facing yes yeah, playing final third i think both teams are still just lacking that precision and that and that execution whether it's balls coming from wide for seattle trying to pick on the road against the league leaders you drift a little bit more on that left hand side i think we'll start to hopefully see him grow more into this game as this Looked like he was inside his penalty area, but didn't want to take any chances. And Scante, strong challenge. Freddy Montero went down. The boost from the fans, but no free kick given. You look back all the way to the last couple of seasons, 24 MLS home matches, just one defeat. A lone loss. Stroud, one of them, plays that ball in behind Stroud, tries to go quickly, and it came off new, and then Ariaga. And I think central spot. Brad Rinkin advanced the ball, gets it wide to Jared Stroud and Diego Fadugo. Two seasons in Jules one as a defender. Well, there you go. I rest my case. At times, yes, he needs to come back and, and pick up the ball in deeper areas alongside. Aniaga. For appearance this season where he did get an assist. And the clearance, Ariaga was 3v1, and Ariaga very calm and conscious the other way for Pochettino. Tries to get around the last centre back. Try Keith, it actually looks like looks like Madrona is going to play more in that that number ten role. Or we'll see if it remains that way. 
this week Raul Rui Diaz has been singing his praises in terms of what he brings he said he does the dirty work for me he drops in he holds the ball up and different type of striker for the final 10 minutes here for the Sounders if you're a defender that's the last person one of the last people you want to see come on the pitch because you're right he all Stroud out wide Stroud gets his cross and Lima well position Ariaga can only clear as far as for good João Paulo back for Ariaga put in a little bit of pressure from Thomas Pochettino, but a very good run, and Sounders looking stretched at the back. Manny Perez had made a run straight away down the middle, forward. And we're into the final minute. We might have a little bit more than six, given the, the stoppage over the last few. But is there going to be late drama here at Lumen Field? The final match of the weekend in MLS play. Ariaga. And that will be the final action. No goals at Lumen Field, Austin FC.